I think we are at a turning point in terms of treatment for hepatitis C. Uh, it's very clear that we made tremendous advances over the last 25 years since the virus was discovered. To today, drugs like sofosfavir took about six years to develop and become on the mark, come on the market in a very short period of time. These drugs are being adopted very quickly. Uh, we'll see a plethora of uh, different uh, combinations in the near future. Uh, I think interferon riba is history, and uh, we're going to have a pangenotypic, uh, high resistance, high barrier to resistance and very powerful drugs that will work across all different genotypes in the very near future. So I think this is where the major breakthroughs are in terms of hepatitis C leading to possible eradication, especially for patients who need it most, the F3 and F4 patients who are uh, quite sick. And if they don't, if we don't intervene with new drugs that we have, the combinations that we have, two drugs or possibly three drugs, uh, for a duration of 12 weeks or even down to six weeks, um, they will progress to uh, liver cancer. So I think it's a very good uh, thing that we now have these drugs that can uh, prevent liver transplantation. We don't need liver transplantation. And this will save a lot of money long term and most importantly save many lives. These drugs are revolutionary. They're changing the landscape. Uh, completely uh, with interferon-free, riba-free um, uh, combinations. And I think as time goes on, we'll even improve these drugs in such a way that we give them, have sustained release drugs, for example, where you give them once a week or once a month. Uh, compliance will be much higher and you can treat for a short period of time. I think this is going to be amazing and remarkable accomplishment.